I'm Dr. Shanta Datta. I am the director of National Institute of Cholera and Enteric Diseases, Kolkata. Our main mandate is to do research on cholera and other enteric diseases. And we have had many uh, contribution in many vaccine trials. We have epidemiological and basic sciences, basic researchers doing all together under the same roof. So ha having heard all the success stories of the um, uh, African countries, I was a bit skeptical about to say not so encouraging result with our country, India. But however, um, I've, uh, this recently, there is uh, some interest on the part of government of India to have had, uh, to have this uh, surveillance, national surveillance for cholera. And uh, I will be speaking on that. And just before I uh, come for this meeting, one day earlier, I have received one mail from government, uh, de uh, Department of Health Research, government of India to undertake some uh, national surveillance for uh, deter estimation of cholera burden in dif um, India. And actually, India is a very large country. And there, uh, the cholera, uh, cholera uh, prevalence or incidence of the burden is not same all over India. So there is need for doing this surveillance study. So if uh, the cholera uh, OCV is implemented in uh, at national level, then it should be in the targeted population, not uh, the mass vaccination may not be possible for our, because it needs hugely the logistics are involved. So mass, uh, there is a program, there may be a program where target population may be vaccinated with oral cholera vaccine. So I'll give a concept what uh, we thought of um, proposing to and uh, proposing to the government for going ahead with the surveillance and followed by targeted OCV, uh, OCV implementation to end cholera at our national level. So I have already told the, about my institute. Uh, this is an institute of excellence with a long history of successfully undertaking different operational research, which will inform the policy makers to develop different policies for implementation in our country. To name a few on diarrheal diseases and cholera, we have undertaken epidemiological studies to characterize the burden, like, burden of the disease like cholera, typhoid, and to assess the impact of disease control interventions for enteric infectious diseases. We have undertaken phase two and three clinical trials on oral cholera vaccine. Then the assessment of efficacy of oral cholera vaccine at the end of second year, third year, and, uh, year and five year after vaccination. Then other vaccines like typhoid and rotavirus also we have done uh, clinical trials. Then a typhoid uh, conjugate vaccine also. And recently, in our policy advocacy with uh, technical subcommittee of NTAGI, we have presented the situation uh, analysis of cholera in our country and uh, for targeted OCV deployment in India. And uh, it is also a center of excellence under primary, Prime Minister's mission on climate change and health with regard to waterborne diseases. So this is the recommendation of NTAGI on uh, National Technical Advisory Group in 28 November 2016 and 6 July 2018 to strengthen surveillance and improve cholera reporting. So um, explore options to evaluate OCV introduction in target population and out to outline the vaccine stop stockpiling strategy at national level. And uh, this is all for accurately informed burden, geographical spread and transmission of cholera disease in our country. Now, what is the burden of cholera in India? At risk, people are almost 400 million people. Like number of cases are 600, 700,000. Estimated dates are 20,000, with the case fatality date was, uh, was 3%. But recently, it has come down both the number of cholera cases as well as uh, the case fatality rate, with 1%, less than 1% the case fatality rate. And uh, this is the studies which uh, was undertaken, were undertaken at our, by our institute, and it gives the uh, incidence of the cholera among the children. 
then uh, actually we do not have any national cholera control program or plan. So our, uh, we have integrated disease surveillance program which reports the outbreak of acute watery diarrhea and, but there is a deficiency in lab support of that integrated disease surveillance program. So cholera morbidity and mortality is being reported by uh, Central Bureau of Health Intelligence, DGHS, and there is massive under-reporting of cholera cases. You can see that over the years there is um, uh, reduction in both cholera cases and death, and, uh, and this gives, uh, based on the published article, uh, this, um, uh, this IDSP has reported the cholera vulnerable states which are uh, shown in uh, green color and also the cholera endemic states and which are on the right side of this right uh, side map. And here the red areas are mostly uh, endemic for cholera and uh, according and based on the color uh, concentration of the color, the, it is less endemic for cholera, other states. Then rational for proposed surveillance and control activities because these available data based on the modeling approaches, so it may, it unlikely, unlikely to give the true reflection of the situation. So these data are fragmented, like uh, we get outbreak data from IDSP and then we, although we, we have conducted for last 20 years hospital-based uh, surveillance, then uh, case death report, these are all by CBHI, DGHS, so all these gives underestimation of the actual disease. So approach based on reported data like to underestimate magnitude. So th th there is need to go for sentinel surveillance approach to get more robust estimation of vulnerability. So this is the goal and objective. Goal is to identify cholera, yeah, cholera vulnerable areas to deploying effective facility based indicator and the objective uh, will be the primary objective is to estimate rate and seasonality of cholera in selected regions of India through sentinel facility with surveillance and then accompanied by healthcare utilization survey. Secondary objectives to identify cholera hotspots in endemic states of India and to evaluate the acceptability, effectiveness and impact uh, of the programmatic introduction of OCV. So this is the plan for surveillance. So multiple partners will be involved. This will be systematic passive facility-based study and then uh, some uh, red cap uh, uh, entry of the data will be used for data entry and then surveillance will be combined with healthcare utilization data. This, the method two will be the lab activities, the culture method will be used and then followed by isolation, then drug sensitivity of the organism, PCR based method also can be used and uh, the whole genome followed by whole genome sequencing of the uh, organisms. Then hotspot mapping and forecast modeling will be done by employing modeling methods. Then targeted OCV introduction will be done by, these are the certain, um, we, have, uh, we have proposed these are, the, um, these are the methods by which we can go for targeted OCV introduction by door-to-door -door delivery strategies, then extension of the work by the community mobilization by ASHA worker and uh, an A&M health workers. Then monitoring immediate after vaccination, monitoring immediate reactogenicity, and uh, this if there is any uh, uh, if adverse events followed by vaccination, then vaccination card will be used. Second dose will be given after 14 days, and then uh, endpoint evaluation, and then the assessment of the feasibility of the vaccination. So the expected outcome will be this, the facility-based surveillance. This will give the burden of the cholera in areas under surveillance. Then uh, developing model for estimating cholera burden, although it may not give the true uh, burden data, but it will give more or less the, what is uh, the data cholera burden in real situation. And uh, it gives the hotspot mapping of our country. Molecular characterization will be done. Uh, vaccine int uh, followed uh, by post uh, vaccine introduction, these vaccine effectiveness studies, then cost effective, cost uh, um, economic, economic uh, study for vaccine introduction, then barrier to implementation. These will be, um, uh, these are the studies which will be undertaken followed by vaccination and this will give another uh, platform for of uh, these pilot studies, some more pilot studies like forecasting model for cholera outbreaks, 
if there is any RDTs in pipeline, then it, the accuracy can be tested and uh, dry filter paper specimens, whether it is feasible for doing surveillance, then it will be much more robust and easier also. So, but the main, main last piece of puzzle is the funding. So now uh, government of India has uh, agreed to undertake this uh, surveillance, but, uh, and access to OCV is also important. The GAVI has to be requested from the government level. And if government is not willing to, uh, uh, willing to introduce the vaccine, it is difficult to uh, go forward. And uh, uh, this MO, although now we, we, we have been given the responsibility of going for surveillance, but uh, ministry has not yet agreed for central procurement of oral cholera vaccine. So local pars, uh, partners like state level, at the state level, uh, the state government may have to procure the vaccine. So we need some credible, willing state partners uh, for this uh, for uh, implementation and success of this study. So this is, thank you. And uh, this is the initial uh, part of our study we have not yet implemented, but we are in the progress so that we hope we can generate some data in coming years. Okay, thank you.